a new sustainable bag in town? Let's check it out. Yo, what's up guys, it's me Mr. Gim here. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you which is the lobster bag which I have ordered it from Kickstarter for months ago and it's been a very very long wait since the expected delivery date was not met but nevertheless it's finally here. So in this video I'm going to show you some in-depth dimension and the real-time usage of this bag in order to give you my real feedback so I have tested it out before I release this video so let's check it out on the packaging itself first so right now the packaging it's used the craft paper and printed over with white ink I believe this paper is made out of recycled material which was the bag itself is already a sustainable bag so at the back of this bag there is some simple instruction and description so to keep it clean all you need to do is to hand wash with cold water the holder which made out of rubber which may turn moldy over time so just use a cloth to wipe it off the dirt at the bottom left you'll see what does it contain I actually like how small the packaging is so let's open up and see what's inside and so right now I'm just going to show you how to use this bag first impression of this bag quite cool Everything seems to be quite nicely sold as there's an eyelet on the very very top. It serves as a hook to hold over your carrying case and make it into a handle which I'm going to show you in a second. The carrying case which used to house the main carrier are made out of rubber which seems to be quite robust. The main carrier material are made out of ripstop, a woven fabric which used a lot for outdoor it's also a primary material used to create hot air balloon which is much durable lightweight and it's very compact robust and high quality so right now i'm going to show you the dimension of the bag i'm using my ruler just to measure you could not just a rough estimation 39.5 cm by 27 cm which you can house something like an A4 size right now I'm just going to show you what you can put inside this bag you can actually quite a number of things although they are not very very big but you can still shop some grocery or putting some grocery inside the bag such as the milk bottle or wine bottle that you have recently I went to shop using to carry my shoes and if for some reason if to go to school it can be done too as this thing can put the 13 inch macbook air and also the accessory pouch inside i must say it's a good idea but one thing i've got to complain it's i don't think the cleat seems to be robust as it's mentioned other than its carrying case and the main carrier itself this clip it's made out of plastic and i don't know how long can it last so probably you might want to get your own stainless steel clip to clip it over just a suggestion why is it named lobster bag according to mr chris goodrich longevity they are resilient and because they are water creature that serve a huge impact on them and they are rumored that lobster are made for life so the logo creation i would say that is actually quite cute the logo and the write-up tells everything about this product now i'm going to show you how to use this bag so basically just use the clip to clip over the carrying case top and push it right to the bottom and it will lock by itself head over to the eyelet area and just clip over them it's very secure so not to worry <music> so 
So this is a real life scenario that I'm using it as a carrying case which it holds a shoes and some other groceries inside. So to keep it is really really simple. All you need to do is just keep folding and make it into a very very small pile and just push it inside the carrying case. Once you lock it, it will be secure. So when you are not using, just keep it inside the carrying case and clip it back to your keychain. So let me know what you think about this bag. If you feel that very sustainable, it's good product, maybe you can just head up to the website to have a look. They are $12 pounds, which kind of expensive, but I think for the durability it should be worth it so all right guys that's the end of my video if you have any questions feel free to comment in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video okay thanks bye